the Indian Armed Forces have carried out a splendid operation over the weekend. The dramatic high tempo operations carried out by India on the high seas, 2600 kilometers from the Indian coast, has led to the arrest of 35 armed pirates while 17 crew members of a former Maltese flagged merchant vessel that is MV Ruin were rescued amid firing by both sides. Now the operation which lasted 40 hours and was overseen by the country's top security body saw marine commandos that is the Marcos being airdropped into the high sea by a C-17 aircraft of the Indian Air Force along with their motorized craft. Now the operation also saw the use of the Sea Guardian drones, yes the very same drones that were procured uh, from the US on lease besides helicopter and stealth guided missile destroyer INS Kolkata and patrol vessel INS Shubhadra of the Navy and of course the PHI. Well the action started on Friday when the Navy which was tracking the ruin now being used as a mothership by the pirates caught up with it in the high seas, remember about 2600 kilometers away from the Indian coast. The Navy deployed drones and helicopters asking the pirates to stop and leave the ship. Imagine what stupidity the pirates did. They opened fire. Yes, they opened fire at the drone. INS Kolkata had to then open aggressive warning fire to show that it meant business. You would see those images on the screen. The sources said that these were warning shots. Now these were warning shots close to the hijacked vessel from the helicopter and the ship and not directly at the pirates in order to prevent any kind of casualties among the crew on board. The firing by the pirates was relayed back to the naval headquarters here in Delhi which gave the captain of INS Kolkata the permission to take whatever action was deemed fit to prevent the pirates from escaping even as they coordinated with the security establishment and the air force for a plan of action. A decision was then made to airdrop multiple marine commandos into the zone of operation to force the arrest of the pirates. Accordingly, a C-17 aircraft, yes, it's a transport aircraft, took off from a base in India with marine commandos on board who were airdropped into the area while Ayana Shubhadra was also diverted. The marines landed on the high seas along with their motorized craft and maneuvered towards the hijacked ship even as warning shots were fired to dissuade the pirates from taking any action warning shots from the helicopter as well as from INS Kolkata. Now the high tempo operation saw the pirates dro dropping their arms and being taken into custody by the Marcos who boarded the hijacked vessel. As the print reported earlier, the pirates and the hijacked ship will be brought back to India. This for the first time in years that the pirates will be brought back to the country to face trial and not allowed to move away from the ship as is the usual practice. This is because the pirates opened fire on the Navy. However, this was not the first time that the Navy intercepted MV Ruin. The ship was originally hijacked on 14th December, that is 2023, by the pirates. The Spanish and the Indian Navy had then undertaken a coordinated response to what is believed to be the first successful hijacking by Somali pirates since 2017. While the ship finally made it to the Somalian waters, the Indian Navy had managed to evacuate an injured crew member after negotiations with the pirates. Now the Navy was closely monitoring the movement of this hijacked vessel since then and it realized that it was back in the international water as a mothership for the pirates and that's when assets were moved in to interject. Now the question is so how do I see this operation? Frankly for me this operation is significant for multiple reasons. To begin with please understand that this is not an operation against pirates. This was an operation to show 
India's ability to carry out operations in the high sea far away from our shores. On the weekend, it was the pirates. Next time, it could be anyone else. The operation also shows Indian Navy's ability to continuously track any ship on the high seas and to take coercive, defensive and offensive action when needed in a joint environment. For the print, this is Snehish Alex Philip. Do subscribe to your Prince YouTube channel for more such videos.